Hey, hey, Grub Gun here, back again with some GameCube pickups of of good of, of a good nature. Uh, yeah, I did a Craigslist deal again. Uh, I paid fucking it was dirt cheap, and uh, I got a lot of it's shelf padding. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, but GameCube shelf padding, like I said, I've, I've stated this before, GameCube shelf padding is fucking good shelf padding. You know, they can't all be fucking Fantasy Star Online or fucking Tales of Symphonia or fucking whatever the hell, it's Eternal Darkness. They can't all be those. They can't all be Zelda Collector's Edition. Some of them have to be shit games. You've got to go the shit route in order to fucking get a complete set. And if I'm going for a complete set, then... I'm going to be buying shit, but it's not the shit shelf. It's, you know, eventually there'll be a section here that will be uh, GameCube shit. You know what I mean? Bronze and under. Let's just put it that way. Um, but, uh, you know, for now, uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff where it's like, you know, uh, yeah, some shit, anyway, you know what I mean? But, like I said, it doesn't matter to me. GameCube shit is good shit. If I walk over here to the GameCube shelf, and I think, oh, what am I going to play? At least I don't feel that intimidation that I had with having fucking four systems on the go. And, uh, thinking, oh, what am I going to play? Uh, nothing. Because there's too many fucking games, and they're all... I don't I don't even want to bother. i got to fish out a PlayStation controller, or an Xbox controller, or an SNES controller, or a fucking... N64 controller, fuck, forget it. You know what I mean? It's too fucking, it, it, it's, no, no, it's not going to happen. But uh, a little while ago, I did go to a thrift store and I picked up a couple of games that weren't GameCube games. So sue me, you know what I mean? Like, they're, I'm, But I had to pick them up because they were fucking next to nothing in price. And uh, uh, I'd never seen them in the wild before and they were dirt cheap. And so fuck off, you know what I mean? You can't fucking have everything. So, you know, so I screwed up once, but it's not really a screw up because one of them is uh, Smash Brothers for the N64. That's not going to focus, is it? Come on. Come on. There we go. You can see uh, Mario's got a little bit of a ding on his head there, but uh, I've never had this game. Uh, I haven't played it yet uh, because my N64 has been unplugged and put in a box to be sent to Soft Otaku. Uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, I'll have to plug in one of my other N64s, my original one that I had plugged in. But anyway, boom, Smash Brothers, you know, who wouldn't for a couple of bucks, right? And I also got this, uh, the first Dynasty Warriors. I'd never seen this out in the wild. I was kind of surprised to fucking run into this. And uh, it, the first one, it looks just like a fighting game. So um, it looks cool. It's fucking brand new, uh, like literally brand new. There's, there's not a fucking, well... There's my fingerprints on it, but what can you do? So yeah, I ran into that. I picked it up. You know, hey, at least the shit shelf, uh, you know, it's still kind of active. There's still activity happening in the shit shelf. So yeah, so there's that. And uh, I'll show you some. Now let's move on to the Craigslist deal. Um, I paid not almost. I paid very little for this shit. And uh, I, I got some doubles in my, uh, in, in the, in the, I got 12 games, five of them are doubles. There's one in there that's GameCube gold, but it's, you know, it's like 14 karat gold. It's not really, you know, it's not the high grade shit that I'm getting in the mail and, and, you know, it's, it's no Zelda collector's edition. Let's put it that way. But I'll show you the doubles I got. Uh, technically, I guess these are probably trade fodder, or I'll trade them in for other GameCube games. Because that's what I do! That's what I fucking do! Okay, so, yeah, I got another Spyro. Now, this is the Spyro that I got last week when I did the big trade-in of the shit shelf stuff. But the one that I got, um, in the... Tr uh, that's It's non-player's choice, the other one. So I put the non-player's choice one on the shelf, and now this one's you know useless to me um got another uh harry potter with the little nerdy kid on it and the sorcerer's stone uh aka the philosopher's stone i think it's called but uh yeah i already have this 
This is a double. Um, so yeah, that's no of no use to me. Um, another pitfall, lost expedition. Um, yeah, so that's a double. I keep saying that. Another vex. Got that already. So double. And uh, ooh, careful. And a Pikmin. Another Pikmin. So yeah, got this already. I seem to run into Pikmin quite a bit. You know what I mean? It's it's just for I know it's is it uncommon? Is it rare? Is it no? It's not rare. Who am I fucking kidding? But yeah, so those are the spare ones. And now here's the gotta lean over here for a sec. Here here are the other ones I got. Um, now you'll see, you'll definitely see a GameCube shelf padding uh, uh, trend in this. But there is one in here, like I said, that I've been looking for and I've been recommended uh, to find it and sh you know what I mean. Like, it's just, it's just fuck. Ugh. I got Tarzan Untamed. You gotta buy the shit if you're going for a full set. And this is probably guaranteed to be shit. But it's got two modes of fun. And that's more fun than more modes of fun than I actually have. So that'll be awesome. Tarzan Untamed. Probably won't play that for quite some time. Dinotopia. The Sunstone Odyssey. I have no idea what the fuck game this is. Way... <sighs> Defend the island of Dinotopia as you battle against the most dangerous foes. A mix of hand-to-hand -hand fighting, puzzle-solving, and exploration. Oh, God. Anyway. It's progressive scan compatible, so it'll look a little better. Anyway, so yeah, Dinotopia, anyway, blah, cares. Um, Carmen Sandiego and the Secret of the Stolen Drums. Stolen Drums? Oh, no, there they are. They haven't been stolen. Uh, there's that. I don't know what this is about. Uh, use sneaking, crouching, and rolling to get the drop on your opponents. Engage and outwit the elemental spirits protecting the path to the secret drums. <sighs> well, there's that, anyway. Um, Darkened Sky. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one where you go around and collect Skittles. Like, the candy. But, um, I don't care. You, you get to wield powerful magic, solve ancient mysteries, and save the world. Spoilers. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's that. That looks... I think I had this before. But, I don't know. There's this, anyway, Darkened Sky. Part of the Craigslist deal. Ant Bully. Yeah. Oh, it, it says experience thrilling adventures like hang gliding and flying on wasps. That's, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's my dream. So, yeah, Ant Bully, it's a Disney game, I guess. Is it Disney that made this? I don't know. Who cares? Ant Bully. Hey, uh, Wallace and Gromit, Project Zoo! Uh, what do you do here? Uh, it doesn't... Yeah, whatever. There's this. I'm not sure what you do in this. Looks like you run around and shit. <laughs> so there's that. It's GameCube shelf padding, but still, as I stated, that's always good! And the one that I was, that I actually bought the bundle for when I saw it in the picture, um, because I was looking for this and, uh, 22 karat GameCube Gold, it's Chibi Robo. Plug into Adventure. So, yeah, there's Chibi Robo. He cooks, he cleans, he annihilates. So, yeah, fucking dope. I uh, I love that shit. I've been looking for this. I'm going to actually try this out today. Um, maybe I'll also 
do some uh, bongo thumping action, if you know what I mean. So yeah, those are the games I got in the bundle. And it also came with this, which is kind of nice. Not necessarily necessary. Definitely not necessary. <clears throat> Let's just say I don't need it, but uh, it's nice to have it anyway. Na -na -na -na. Look, it's a silver GameCube. There it is. And it's got a couple of dings on it. There's a little couple scratches up here. You'll never see that. And uh, there's a scra little kind of a ding up here and some fucking thing on the, the little that. But yeah, so I got a silver GameCube. That is, you know, like I said, I don't need it. I know it works. Tried it out. Looks good. Fucking always nice to have. Um, so that makes how many GameCubes do I have now? One, two, three, four, five. Six. So it's my sixth GameCube. I got a six pack of GameCubes. So yeah, that'll be it. That's it for me. Uh, I got a lot of shit. Um, I'm going to be uh, kind of slowing it down a bit um, till my next paycheck. And uh, I've got so much stuff coming in the mail. Like, I, it's going to be, when I start getting boxes and packages, which I figure will be next week, there's going to be not there is some GameCube gold in there seriously so fucking stay tuned for that shit cuz uh I'll probably be shouting and and violently shaking it into the camera like that and uh, yeah cuz GameCube gold knocking down the fucking go list of gold items I had that bid on the really really rare game but some cocksucker fucking outbid me on that and uh, I never bid any higher because it was one of those moments of, I don't know, you know when you're sitting there going, huh, well, another one will come up soon. And, uh, of course, another one came up and it's $20 fucking more. So now I'm, I've got to get, there are two real fucking important games that I've got to get. One of them, of course, is uh, Cubivore. Um, once I get that, and this other game, really, the most I'm going to be paying for anything, no matter what, is like maybe thirty or forty dollars. So yeah, I got fucked over on fucking eBay by somebody who fucking outbid me, bastards. It's a fucking piss off. Grubgun's getting upset. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Got a GameCube. Got some stuff. Good stuff. I think. A little bit of shelf padding. A little bit of extra shit. But, you know, the extra shit can get traded in or traded to you guys. You saw the ones that I have. They were the first... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, and Dynasty Warriors and fucking Smash Brothers, as far as I'm concerned, can get traded away. I don't give a shit. So anyway, that's it for me. Um, I, uh, I don't have to reach over to the bed anymore to use the bed as a mouse mat because uh, I'm using the bouncer. As my mouse mat. <clears throat> it was the first game I grabbed off my shelf. So now I can stand back here. Relax. I don't have to lean in and go, you know, okay, grab gun signing out. Um, but, yeah, so I can lean, I can stay back here and, you know, we can peruse the GameCube shelf. You know what I mean? One day, there'll be an entire shelf of GameCube gold. I, oh, hopefully I can separate them into, like, sections, you know? GameCube gold, GameCube uh, silver, GameCube bronze, you know what I mean? And then that way, even I know, I'll label the fucking shelves even, you know what I mean? But I, I, I fear that there's a lot more silver and bronze than there is gold, diamond, and platinum. But, uh... So, yeah, that's it for me. What are we at? 14 minutes. Oh, super. So anyway, it's a nice morning here. I'm going to finish my cup of tea and uh, make myself some breakfast. So on that bombshell, this has been Grub Gun, and I am signing out from back here. And that's good. GameCube Gold, coming soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you later.